Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of LEGO Dude Builds on the Delta Graph server. I'm LEGO Dude, and this is the Delta Graph server. So, I'm here in the town hall that I built with Delta Y, which is the server admin and my brother. So, it's kind of a modern style building, and I think it looks pretty good. So, there's. Delta Graph server is uh, all vanilla at the moment, but it's actually originally. It's originally a bucket server, but uh, when 1.7 came out, we couldn't update super quickly because all the plugins had to update also, so it's vanilla for now. But this is Spawn Town, also known as Mine Town. So in Mine Town, we have the town hall and uh, this lovely Christmas tree decorated for the holidays. And I'll show you that in a second. Some cows, which are quite loud. I'm going to turn those down. And community farm. Not a whole lot here yet, because it's still pretty close to the start of the server. Um, I was going to actually start recording at the start of the server, but I uh, couldn't get a computer that was good enough to record soon enough, so this will have to do. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be the shops district. I have a temporary shop set up. Well, not even a temporary shop, just a marked out position. And there's another shop. Um, actually, there's not a whole lot to show here, except for one more thing. Which is, this is a project that I'm working on here, which I'll probably have an episode or two about, called the Sturdy Inn. Um, yeah, it's just a place where if anybody new comes on the server, they can have somewhere to sleep or something. Alright. Well, I... I'm going to go through the nether to my base, and I'll show you that. Okay, here I am at home base, and um, please disregard the super ugly, well, everything here. This is, well, the name that I call it is the redstone base, because basically it's just where I gather all my materials, and yeah. So this is a giant mob farm. Uh, it's actually Ethos design, and you can go look at his video if you want to know how to build it. I don't really feel like showing the inside, but yeah, I'll put a link in the description. So it has a switch, which basically just moves uh, this block right here. And if you could see that, a creeper just fell down and died. Um, but if you have the block, then the fall amount is not quite enough to kill them, and it gets them down to one punch, except for zombies. And also, as I was digging down, I came upon a spider spawner. So, uh, that light is supposed to keep them from spawning, which it actually doesn't. But, yeah, so, as you can see, there's a creeper here, and just one punch, and he's dead. So, it helps you get XP. And I like to leave it on. But, actually, I am here with another person, um, Ferris Wheels. He, he and I are basically collecting material and we like to build projects together. So he'll probably show up in some of my videos. Uh, this is his house with all his chests. Not a, not a whole lot. I'm not gonna go look into them or anything. But if you wanna see what I have, I am super rich. Yeah, so rich with these diamonds and got a lot of flowers. I spent a lot of time collecting a lot of different random junk. So I also have chicken farm, sheep farm, uh, automatic pumpkin farm, which has collected me quite a few pumpkins. Uh, Semi-automatic wheat farm, and carrots and cactus, all that. But this is not the most interesting thing in the world. You've probably seen a bunch of other people build derpy ugly contraptions like this. What I really want to show you guys is my building project, which is not too far that way. So I'll cut away and I'll come back to you with that. Okay, and here we have the building project. Um, just a little village right now, but I am working on a castle over in that direction, which I'll show you in just a second. But this is a town that uh, Ferris Wheels and I have, and we called it Arendir. Um So the style of these houses is pretty unique. I went on a creative world and tried to come up with a 
curved, like, almost sagging roof. And this is what I came up with, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. And I'm loving these 1.7 flowers. So amazing. So, we've got a couple houses here, and this is where I set up shop to work on all the houses. So, I keep all my stuff up here. You know, not a whole lot to see. Um, so this whole area we're planning on having covered with houses. It's just gonna be villages, and maybe like a tower on that hill, and tower on that hill or something. And then there was this natural waterfall here, which I decided to turn into a little lake side thing and I built a tree growing out of the wall so I'm pretty happy with how this came out all right so there's kind of three sections to r and deer there's the housing section right here with these four houses which this one is not done and then there is the shops district uh, the Ferris wheels did all the shops right here so it's it's a different style not the same like roof or anything, just to distinguish that it's a different area of town. So there's those buildings. And then the third the third area in R and Deer. I, I like that roof. I do. <laughs> the third area in R and Deer is the castle, which is over here. And I'm gonna plan on having gravel roads connecting all the different areas and I don't have a whole lot of plans for this area, but we'll just kinda see where it takes us. Right, and as we come up over this hill, we see a castle and some trees in the way. Way to block my view, trees. So, this is a castle, and also, I kind of wanted to keep the same feel with the roofs as, like, very curved and sloping, but in a kind of medieval style. So, it's got little uh, arrow slits to shoot from, and I'll probably be building here a lot. I've been absorbed in this project for a long time and I just I kept working and working and working on the roofs and the walls until I got them this far so I plan to have a gate either here or maybe over there I would take out this area and have a rounded gate with a portcullis um, but through this area is a nice lake which also was thinking about building like a little fishing village here but I don't have a whole lot of plans besides it's not it's not just gonna be walls I'm gonna have like a palace of some sorts over here so here's this area all right I am back here with Ferris wheels he logged on and he is going to introduce himself hello I'm Ferris that's what he sounds like yeah this is my voice, in case. Yeah. Okay, yeah. anyways. Yeah, yeah. So we do a lot yeah. of stuff together. Mm -hmm. You can, you can, I'm really tempted to punch you off, but I'm not going to because... I have pants. You can't do that to me. Oh, right. Uh, okay, yeah. well, Don't we're just... Don't punch a man with pants. We're just gonna go and check out one of his building projects. He's also Whoa. building a castle. Well, Whoa. he's not Whoa. building a castle yet, but... It's, see, it, oh, by the way, we're on top of the mob farm. Yeah. This is what it looks like from here. And the world's this, ugliest mob farm. Yeah. This, this yeah. is the, uh, Transcontinental Railroad, which we're working on. Well, he's working on. Yeah, and I'm slacking. There's, there's also a road that's running alongside it. You can see that gravel path running through it there. But anyways, um, we're gonna go check out where he is planning to build a castle. Wait, let's sleep. Alright, we've arrived at the location where he's going to build his castle. And it's here in this mega taiga. Lots of lovely podzol and mossy cobble and ferns everywhere. Lovely. So, you deforested this whole place, right? Yeah, I cut down so many trees. I spent like two hours cutting down trees. It's pretty crazy. it's not crazy. even done yet. Yeah. Ow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Smooth. And if you open this chest up here, you'll see how much... How much I got just from cutting down this little area? Oh, well, well then. Yeah. <laughs> I just cut, just cut down a few trees, you know, in my yeah. Spare these time. things give you a lot of wood. All right. Yeah, I, I, I figured that out. <laughs> oh, um, here's is, a nice map of the area. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna make a a big bay in that little area, that ocean area. So that'd be neat. Cool. 
So I think that is about it for the tour. Uh, also, I forgot to mention earlier that uh, Delta Craft is whitelisted, so don't try and come on. Well, you, you haven't even given the IP, so. Then you'll never get it. Never. All right, I think that's gonna do it for the server tour. So I'm back here at Arndir, the castle, and as you can see, I've added some flags. This is actually the next day. And also, I added a bit of blue wool outlining where I'm going to have the edge of the palace starting. And the palace will be all in this area. So, for this uh, next segment of the episode, I think I'm going to... Oh, a zombie. That's just lovely. Ooh, nice helmet. Ooh, nice helmet. Anyways, for this segment of the episode, I'm going to be building the gate to the castle. Now, I was going to have it over there. But I changed my mind, and I ended up moving it over there. And so I took down this pattern and moved over here. And while I am building the gate, I have a visitor. Hello! So Ferris is here, and he's going to be taking out all this stone in this area and turning it to grass and dirt so that it can grow over. I'm a contractor. Yes, he's doing my dirty work. All right. Literally, I'm using dirt. <laughs> yes, yes. I throw my dirt. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you can take this farm out if you want. Um, I'll just move it somewhere else eventually. Alright, so let's get started. It's the first thing I destroy. Um, so I did work out a little bit of this in creative. And I got a design that I'm kind of happy with and kind of, kind of not happy with. So I think I'm going to stick with it mostly but change some stuff around as I go. So it's going to be pretty big gate. Let's see. I think it came up like this. I'm going to try and do this from memory as much as I can. It came up... Oh, higher than this. Oh, well. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so for the gate, I'm actually going to use iron bars and cobblestone fence... Er, yeah, cobblestone walls. It's, uh, just a design that I came up with. I just thought of it in my head and I'm like I think that would look pretty cool and I tried it out and it took me a while to get it to look good but I think it actually did did come out pretty well so I'm gonna fill this area in with uh, stone brick and I'm really not sure how you're gonna get through the walls with this blocked off but you know that's it's not a super necessary feature really I mean it'll be nice so I'll have like some kind of decorations in there but there's not a whole lot you can do once you have this in place. So, this is going to be all filled in. Um, there's going to be some decorations on these walls. Actually, oh, I do not have it with me. Whoa. I'm going to be using dark oak logs. I put this. some redstone in your chest. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm going to be using this later. Not as a redstone project, don't worry. For those of you who do not like redstone. Eh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> I can make a piston move. That's pretty much all, though. That's Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do. I can okay. place redstone. That takes some skill right there. Yeah. Alright. Um, wow. I don't actually have any dark oak logs, so I'll just have to go without those for now. I've got dark oak stairs. No, I need the logs. Oh, oh yes, I'm also on the server with other people right now. Uh, <coughs> Delta Y, Chaser, Brady Boy, yeah, and, and you, obviously. But, I mean, other people besides you. Oh. oh you saw all the names. Um, okay, almost done here. If I don't keep double-placing blocks. Like that. All right, now that's good. So, oh. Did you want the part inside the blue filled in too? Uh, no, you can leave that undone for now. All right, I'm trying to remember how I do this. I had an outline of stone around here because I'm trying to keep the same, well, I'm gonna do the other side first. I'm trying to keep the same, like, simplistic arched look around here. So I just have this stone border around the entire Arch ent arched entranceway. And, oops. 
I'm not sure. I, I definitely want to keep that feature. Um, but also, it in the end product, it wasn't all completely just solid stone. Hmm. No, he won't. Anyways. Alright, I'm going to start on the actual gate. I think it came down to right about there. So you just get these cobblestone walls coming down. And then in between them, you have this... Um, I'm not sure what this pattern is called. I guess checkerboard pattern, but not quite. And then you take the iron bars, place them in between, if I can, and it comes out like that. And it does look a little bit better once you have uh, one on the other side and all the details on the inner curve right here. So I'll do that for this side. Oh, I'm out of cobblestone walls. Uh, I'm gonna go get some Here, take dark four. oak logs. I have four. Oh, okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's not gonna be enough to finish this. I'm gonna gather some g dark oak logs and cobblestone walls and get all the materials ready. And then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, I collected some more dark oak wood and I got a bit more materials of what I need. So, now we're gonna start on the design on the inside. So, for the inside, there's a pillar of dark oak running up each uh, center column thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Up this part. And then, next to it is cobblestone stairs. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to reach this, am I? I might have to pillar up. But there's another pillar here. And, oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, I don't think I can do this. As you can see, I have some uh, droppers and furnaces in my inventory. And those are going to be, well, it's a secret. You can't know until later. Can I know? Can I know? No, you can't know either. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, good. Wow. Really? Really? Smiley face. <laughs> it's like the opposite of my mood when I can't find out what you're doing. Sure, we'll go with that. I can't believe you didn't notice that earlier. I didn't. Know. <laughs> How long has that been there? <laughs> like a minute or two. People coming on and off the server. Popular place. There's like six people on. Yes. Yes, That's actually is. a lot for this server. Not usually this crowded. All right, dude, it's so packed I can almost see like twenty chunks. Now, uh, I don't really want this stripe of dark oak wood here. Get away from me! I don't want this stripe of dark oak wood here because that makes it look like it's part of the walls again, which it's not. It's it's like it's not in the walls. It's outside the walls because it's open to the air. So I'm going to fill it in with stone brick, if I have enough. I'm good at collecting materials, I promise. And fighting zombies. Oh, I don't have enough. I'll have to make it out of this. There we go. And then this is the cool part of the design. This is what I'm using the droppers and furnaces for. So you see where the cobblestone wall- Oh, I need more stone brick here. I was not planning on that. <laughs> Okay, I have enough. We're good. So you see where the uh, cobblestone fences and iron bars come down. Um, this is a design I saw on another server, and I'm taking it. Not what claiming server? it as my own. Uh, Mind Blown, which if you look on my channel, there will probably be another series going on. But as of yet, there's not. Are you allowed to record on Mind Blown? I think so, yeah. Oh, sweet. I still have to get all the permission from the people and stuff. Okay, so where these cobblestone walls come out, there's a little hole in the dropper if you place it upright. And then a uh, little tweak I added to the design is adding a furnace because it's actually the same texture, I, I believe. Maybe not, but it looks like the same texture on top as the dropper. So where the cobblestone fences are, there's a hole, but where the iron bars are, there isn't. 
So that works out pretty nicely. Alright, next is a little bit more decoration inside. So there's going to be more cobblestone coming up there. Just as a little bit, it adds a little bit more depth to it. So that's always a good thing. Oh, oh no, oh no. Ah. Uh, Oh, I got the stairs, yes. <laughs> That's the only, only thing that matters. Uh, zombie. Baby zombie. Recording at night. It's a dangerous thing. Okay. Let's finish off these stairs. Um. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> then, I think I had it like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, see? This is not even on the right spot. Needs to go one more over. <laughs> There's a creeper on the flag. Looking him up Which there. Which flag? Uh, I'm about to shoot him down, so... Oh, well, if I can hit oh, him. Oh, I see him. Oh, there's an Enderman up there, too. Two Wee! creepers. Two creepers. <laughs> oh, Two that, creepers was, that was an fun. Enderman. There's another creeper. Yeah. Wow. Not safe around here. Yeah, there he is. No, I don't have a bow. Alright, and then it goes back down a level, and then I just add a... Slab. Hey, hey, dude, shoot that Enderman off. Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> it placed two slabs. Why would it do that? How does it... Oh, I see. Maybe I see. Okay, so that adds a little bit of depth right there. And then, also, uh, I'm gonna change this bottom layer to cobblestone. Yeah, you can see I cheaped out on my, on my dirt over here. I'm just... Dirt's too expensive for me. That's kind of sad. Never mind. It's true, though. It is true. You, you can afford grass. That's, That's true. Better. Although my silk touch shovel's about to break. Anyway. Just repair it. And then, just to add a little bit, like another half a layer of depth, because I think the more layers of depth you have, the better it is. I added it so that you can see, like, half of the... Uh, wood block it, it makes it look more of like a supporting pillar than just a flat you know just like a, it has the whole log texture which I think it looks pretty good yeah it does look pretty good and I'll kill you and steal it oh no thank you I didn't ask for your permission <laughs> he's scary hey uh can I steal this and kill you no you can't. Okay. Um, alright, let's see if I remember this. I'm trying to remember from a screenshot, or not from a screenshot, but from my, just my single player world. <laughs> um, I think it went like that. Yeah. Oh, oh no, there was, there was two, I remember now. And then there was slabs, and... A window, kind of like on the other wall segments. Or, oh, not a window, a arrow slit. I'm not sure if that's actually what they're called. And then right here... Are they murder holes? No, murder holes are the one where you can drop oh, boiling oil. Oh, those are the oil. floor ones. What? No, wait. Yeah, murder holes are up on... Like, where the... What is where that? the railing is? Yeah, I where thought, the railing I is. I thought murder holes were in the bottom, and, like, you could shoot out of them. Like, it, the enemy... No, no, those are arrow, arrow slits. I think that's what they're called. I'm not... Pretty, I'm pretty sure they're murder holes. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Uh, I know I know murder holes aren't where you shoot from the bottom. Hmm. Okay. And then... I, I wanted to get the arch, like, right here. How every single one is arched. I wanted to try and get that in here. Which it kind of works. <laughs> Spider. Oops. I'm falling Here's in another creeper face. on your wall. Wait. Hey. Yeah, he's on the half slab. Oh, the sunrise is coming up. Or, the sun is coming up. The sun the is sun rising. The sun cometh. The sun cometh as that rises. Alright. Dude, your, your wall is just, like, monster infested. Yeah, I haven't Not really... Well, two minute, two creepers it's because the roof... Is, is Are they on the roof? Yeah, they're on the roof. Well, all but the creeper. Well, that's because the roof is not... Uh, Creeper's slabbed. on this half slab. Oh, you know what? I did do this wrong. This gate is supposed to be right here. I'm just now remembering this. Well, I'm gonna...
do that and fix that off camera. I'll be back again. Okay, I uh, finished up, or I finished up fixing this. Uh, it had to move one block back, and I also added um, stone brick to uh, kind of shape it a little bit more, and then change the cobblestone or the stone to cobblestone. And uh, I also changed this block right here to a stone brick stair so that this does not connect, and it gives it, it makes it look the same as these. Okay, so the video is almost done, so I'm just going to finish up this last bit of detail in these empty corners right here. Ah, take that skeleton. So, this is the part that I was having a little bit of trouble with on the creative world, and I wasn't super satisfied with it. Um, let's see. Actually, I think in order to get inspired on how to do this, well, I see you shooting at me. Ha! Kill it before you can get I was him. I was gonna kill it. You don't have to you show off, you know. Mm-hmm. Sure. I mean, uh, I wouldn't- Ooh, look. Full iron skeleton. With enchanted pants. I got this! I got this, man! I got it! I ah, got it! I'll get it to you. I got I'll, it! I'll, I'll get to it before you. No, you won't. No. Where did it go? That's not fair, man. It's not fair. Ooh, look, dirt. Oh, oh yeah. I got in this cave. I haven't actually uh, done any of the detail work on the outside. I did a little bit of this, but you know, <sighs> that's that's all. Wow. You guys probably already saw that. Can't believe this. Okay, now I got just gotta finish up this last little bit of detail. Do you have any more dirt? All right. Uh, did you run out? Yeah, I'm out of dirt. There's an enderman behind you. <gasps> oh. Should I kill it? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's over there now. Oh, now it's over there. Oh, now it's over there. Okay. Really, back to building. Okay, so, um, for the top sections of these, there's kind of a, a cobblestone post, and, like, uh, smooth stone and stone brick slabs. I'm not sure how good that's gonna look, though. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. I think, what if I do... A little... Watch him who's... No, I don't like that. I have to do a little watch him who's it like that. Um, and then... That's all I can think of. <laughs> kind of pathetic. But a lot of this detail work is just... You gotta... Build it, stand back and look. And build it and stand back and look. And go change it and keep changing it until you find something that you like. It's a good thing it's not too tall. What do you mean? So you well, you know when you build something like really tall and you oh, have to like, yeah. pillar up to it, pillar down, run backward. That's where ender back. pearls come in helpful. Which we don't have. Yeah, we haven't made a enderman farm yet on this server. We really need one. You know, I don't like this and I'm gonna change it. The answer is ender pearls. To yeah, I'll just hang an ender pearl up in an item frame. That'll that'll solve it. Mind blown. I think if I just keep going up like that, that might give it like a double. It's kind of like a double arch with that little support right there. That might that might look cool. We'll see that. It's also kind of, sometimes you have to do it on both sides in order to be able to tell. Um, oh yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. It's not super great, but I might change some of this stuff eventually. But I'm going to do that on the other side. And then, I think that is all. Voila. Oh, if I can place the blocks right. You okay, know, that's I kind of a necessity. Yeah, that is. In Minecraft, placing blocks right. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Might change later, but that's good for now. Okay, that's the end of the episode, so make sure to leave a like so that people can find the video. You and mean leave a comment? Oh, yeah, leave a like, I guess. It, Sorry. I, I just ruined did, your ending. You just, you, you killed it. I murdered it. No, 
you in leave the a, face. You, uh, just, just, okay. You know what? We're Can just, I murder you in the face now? We're, we're gonna It'll end it. Like we're gonna end it here. We're gonna, we're gonna end it here. Bye, 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 guys. Come here. Come here.